Greetings, everybody. Good morning, good evening. Hello again. For my last duty today, I have the pleasure to introduce the CTO of Spatial ALD, Spatial Atomic Layer Deposition, um, Eric Kremers. And Eric Kremers will talk about their lab to fab approach. And Eric, with that, over to you. Yes, thank you for the introduction, Christoph. Good evening, good evening, everybody. Like as I've already mentioned, we're from the company SALT, which is short for Spatial ALD. And uh, I'm going to talk a bit, little bit about the journey we have taken the past two years and what we're doing with Spatial ALD. Now, first about SALT. SALT is an uh, Eindhoven-based uh, OEM in the Netherlands. And we are a spatial ALD specialist company, which is serving a mostly green growth market. Well, a few examples of them are lithium ion batteries, next gen thin film solar, like organic PV or perovskite solar, fuel cells and electrolyzers, uh, enhancement of packaging foils, and the dep uh, deposition and coating of membranes. With our company, we have over 10 years of experience with spatial ALD and 24-7 high volume production. Uh, and we supply, at the moment, compact spatial ALD systems for research and small scale pilot production. And yeah, we have already an extensive experience in upscaling from lab to high volume production, hence the title from lab, from fab to lab, from lab to fab, sorry. <laughs> Uh, we originated uh, a couple of years ago from another company. Uh, we started in 2010 from uh, Solitech. Uh, at that time, we used the spatial ALD uh, technology to create spatial ALD equipment for the silicon solar uh, business. And uh, we st uh, started in 2010 as a spin-off from TNO. But uh, around 2018, we yeah, saw that there were much more opportunities with our technology. And in order to also uh, do business development in other markets, we changed our name to, uh, from the company to our technology. And that way, uh, yeah, we, it's easier to find us and it explains better what we do. And with SALT, we're an experienced supplier of equipment for research and development tools, but also high volume production tools. A little bit about Solitech. We started in 2010, like I told you, and we started with small lab tools which we uh, delivered uh, for, to, uh, to several institutes in uh, the world. And after we developed the first lab tool, uh, which then was used by the research institutes to develop new solar cell stacks uh, with uh, backside passivation by aluminum oxide, and then uh, deposited with spatial ALD, uh, we started developing a high volume tool, which uh, yeah, had to be capable of uh, depositing the bad side of wafers of about 4,000 per hour. So that's quite a large throughput what was demanded. The development was done in one and a half years and then the first system was uh, sent uh, to Japan where there was a lot learned when the first system was there. And with those learnings, yeah, we developed the system further. And uh, in the end, when we start to deliver them in 2014 as mainstream product, uh, yeah, we were at industry uptimes and yield numbers and actually we were the first company to actually have done that with ALD technology in high volume 24 7 production. I want to talk a little bit about ALD because I don't know if everyone is familiar with ALD so I usually use this slide to just explain it a little bit. Uh, ALD is a very simple technology that's what we say because we know what we're doing. But in the end, it's the uh, alternate exposure of a substrate to a certain gas to uh, start a chemical reaction on the surface. Now that's done by putting a, a substrate in a vacuum uh, chamber, then go to a very low pressure level, and then uh, first release a, a precursor A in the uh, uh, vacuum chamber. And with this, uh, uh, example, it's uh, TMA, which is an uh, aluminium precursor. And then when the whole uh, chamber uh, is saturated with the precursor vapor, uh, vapor yes, then uh, also the surface of the substrate will be saturated. And then at that, that time, all re uh, remaining 